Hello and welcome back. This is Manda of First Time Reborn Moms. Happy Friday, January the 12th, 2018. Today I wanted to come on and do a pretty different video. As you can see here, I got a few kits laid out. And I wanted to show you what I'm going to start working on. This is the Ella and Avery kit by Bountiful Baby. She's sculpted by Denise Pratt. They're twins. They have one open eye sculpt. She's very beautiful. Very beautiful. She's going to be an 18 inch kit. She has an open mouth, open eyes, and I can't wait to paint that tongue. Can you see all that texture? She even has rivets in the top of her mouth. Check that out. Pretty beautiful. So this is Averly with the open eyes. And this is Ella, her sister. Look at those lips and again, that mouth and tongue. That's going to be beautiful to paint. And these are her limbs or his limbs. Haven't decided if I'm going to keep them or if I'll be gifting this or donating it or um, trying to sell it and recoup some of my costs. But beautiful details in the wrinkling in the fingers and the wrist. I love that. Beautiful details in those hands. She has very nice long fingernails, nail beds, which I love because I have very long nail beds also. Oh, that's beautiful. And here are the feet. This is the right foot. I don't know if I like all the wrinkles in the foot. Um, maybe I'll like it once it's painted and we can get some of that realism in those creases and in those fat pockets but right now really deep creases in the bottom of the foot right now i'm thinking those are a lot of wrinkles and i don't know about painting all of those love those little thighs are really small but they have the illusion of chunkiness with the indentations there. This is the other one. Same thing. Oh, a lot of wrinkles on the foot all around. Oh, look at all those wrinkles. What am I gonna do? Uh, really deep creases on the bottom of the foot. That'll look really pretty once painted. That'll be really nice detail. So now we're gonna move on to the Sydney kit. The Sydney kit is also another kit from Bountiful Baby. Mm, it's not a real born kit. It's just, I just thought that expression was too cute. It's like, I want something. Give me attention now. Not a big fan of the ears. I think they sit kind of low and they're kind of plain. Um, it's not really a lot of detail on those ears. Really love the fat pockets on the neck. I think that's lovely. She has gums in there. Nice fully formed tongue. So she'll probably be able to take a full pacifier and a full bottle. Love those big full lips and the big full nose. So this will be interesting to paint. And these are her limbs. She's three-fourth limb, pretty short. Love those nail beds. Like I said, she has, this doll also has long nail beds. So I really like that. Get out. I'm in a shadow here. Wow. nice nail beds so not a whole lot of creasing on this doll but that's okay a 
That is okay. I'm quite sure she'll still turn out to be just as beautiful. And here's the other leg for Sydney. And the bottom of her foot. You can see the difference between Sydney's foot and Ella's foot with the creasing and the deep wrinkles. Now this, moving on to the next kit, this is my Max kit. He is a 14 inch little preemie. Oh, look at those feet and look at that face. So first we're gonna look at this face here. Look at that face, look how tight he has those eyes, tight and balled up with his little lips. So he's gonna be a 14 inch preemie kit love the ears I think I just like more detail in the ears and around the neck it gives for more realism and more depth you can play with colors more and he has that little booty chin I love that nice full nose loving that and he has the cutest limbs oh my goodness look at those fingers you guys isn't that just like a baby stretching trying to get comfortable you know look at those details in his hands just beautiful and for what you pay for kits from bountiful baby um you can't beat the price so when i have a few extra dollars whether I'm painting or painting on a kit already, if they have something on sale that catches my eye, I'll just grab it because like I say, I'm very serious about my craft. I have fallen in love with reborning and I am thinking, praying that this will be a lifelong hobby and journey that I'll be on. So. You know, money isn't always the same, so when you can, you should just go ahead and take care of what you need to, to prepare for future events. Oh, I love that foot, and he has the wrinkle, wrinkle, wrinkle foot. Um, he also is an anatomically correct full body. So I got him covered up here. So he does have boy parts. But as you can see, his little chest, little wrinkles there. His backside. He actually has a beautiful spine going down the center of his back. Beautiful spine with little fat rolls underneath his shoulders. And he has a little buttocks. Um, this here is the Maggie kit she is also a um, full limbed full body anatomically correct kit she is a girl though um, so let's start with her face see her cute little face there eyes all tuckered in and balled up with the fat creases around it I just love that fat over that eye Nice big full nose, full lips, love it, love it. Fat little cheeks, fat little cheeks. Look at that fat pocket. I can't wait to crease that up and give it some color. Look at that ear. Oh, her ear may be my favorite. Oh, I love the ear. Yeah, she has a nice shaped head it has a soft spot in the center in the top just like a real baby's would so i'm gonna love to paint that and these are her hands now her nail beds are not as long but that is okay still be equally as beautiful nice deep wrinkles in the hands i love deep wrinkles on a kit because um 
when you're adding paint, as long as you don't get paint build up in there, it really makes it pop and it stands out really pretty. So those are her hands. And these are her feet. This is the left foot. In the bottom. Creases on the foot aren't really as deep. And this one. This is a cute little foot. Oh, look at that pinky toe curled over in there. Ah! Oh, that is so weird. Oh, look at those itty bitty little toenails. Itty bitty little toenails, but look at that foot, that toe. It's curved over. <sighs> really cute. So, that is Maggie, and here is her torso. And like I said, um, she is a anatomically correct full body girl and this is what her torso looks like i love the little rib cage leading onto the belly button she even has the appearance of ribs on the side has little rib rivets in the vinyl itself to appear as ribs the belly button is beautiful can't wait to paint it she also has a spine. Her spine isn't as defined as Max's spine, but as you can see, it still has the illusion of a spine. And she also has a little buttocks. And she is anatomically correct, and I'm going to cover that up. So these are my kits that I'm going to start working on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.